Welcome to Progress. In Ingolstadt on February 9, 2021, the new e-tron GT was presented to the global public. But before this happened and the Audi e-tron GT could hit the road, a number of stages and hurdles had to be overcome. It took time and visionary thinking. The Audi Prologue in 2014 was the starting signal. With it, elegance and sportiness came onto the road, making Vorsprung durch Technik visible. It was the beginning of a completely new design language. But let's start where every brilliant idea is born, on a blank sheet of paper. Our car development process is about four years, and in the first two years, we were engaged in design. It usually starts with a sketch. We actually always do that in a competition. 10 to 15 people design an e-tron GT, for example, and afterwards, we cut down, and then we look, and after a certain time, we see which one is better, and then we reduce it to two designs. In the end, one remains. That's the normal design process. With the e-tron GT, it was like there was never one. We built a proportion model on this platform and then realized that this proportion model already looked so exciting that we didn't even start the design process. The result is the most beautiful car in the history of Audi, and there has been no design process. In 2018, the show car wowed the press when it was unveiled in Los Angeles. It was a car that had to be appealing, but also had to carry the environmental idea within it. I still remember when we presented the car in LA. There was great feedback from journalists and the trade press. And every second person said, nice show car, but it will never go into series production like this. And the great thing is that we have implemented the car one-to-one. -one. But the implementation had to be fast and required completely new measures in tool making. The approach had to be completely rethought. A precise approach was needed to not already fail in the preparation phase. It required the cooperation of a team of visionary minds and skilled craftsmen from a wide variety of fields. We come from one side, of course, from project management. We have determined the function and positioning of the vehicle. We come from the technology side and bring all the components to fulfill this function. And then, of course, there is also the design side, with corresponding ideas of what such a vehicle could look like. After this, we have to work together very intensively. Let me give you an example. We have a very large battery that we have to accommodate, which we want to place very deep in the vehicle floor in order to keep the center of gravity low. In this vehicle, we have come up with a concept where there is a recess at the bottom of the battery where the feet go. So we are able to develop the overall ergonomics of the vehicle, despite the battery at the bottom and a flat roof line. For this, a place was needed where technology and craftsmanship can be combined. The Bullinger Höfe in Heilbronn is part of the Neckar's own site. From its conception, it was designed as a small-scale production facility with innovative and flexible processes, which have now been expanded. State-of-the-art facilities have been built on the body shop and assembly areas, and new logistics halls with an area of around 10,000 square meters have been created. Here, where previously only the Audi R8 rolled off the production line, the e-tron GT was now also to be built on the assembly line. A challenge, because in order to integrate the e-tron GT, production had to be expanded and upgraded and converted during ongoing operations. In the process, the company succeeded in making high performance and environmental awareness go hand in hand. The e-tron GT is produced using 100% green electricity and CO2 neutral heat from renewable sources. Producing two so technically different vehicles on one assembly line is unique in the group. Body construction of the two very different models is carried out separately, but assembly takes place together on one line. We had the best conditions here to integrate an additional vehicle like the e-tron GT into the existing workflows and at the same time acquire new competencies in the areas of electrification, digitalization and automation. 
It is an interplay of craftsmanship and smart factory, but many new methods were established with the integration of the all-electric four-door coupe. This began with the planning of the assembly processes, which were carried out virtually in many areas. In the body shop, correlation-free measurement was introduced. In assembly, the 3D printer proved to be very helpful. Good exterior car design is always based on perfect proportions. You could call the exterior design almost a quattro sculpture. We have no other car in our lineup with such huge muscles on top of all four wheels. For the first time, we bring the evolution of this inverted face onto the road. Inverted face means for us, we covered our well-known single frame, brighten it up and put it into a black mask. From 100 meters away, you will clearly see it's an Audi and in the same time you see it's electric. My favorite detail about the Audi e-tron GT is actually the rear muscle. Quattro is a very important gene in the Audi DNA, and the e-tron GT really makes that visible. Extreme muscles on all four wheels, but the rear muscle is also very challenging. First of all, it's the strongest muscle we've ever made. That's because you have to pull it in the sheet metal, so to speak, in the side section. That means we come out of the cab, go over the muscle, and into the wheel. This was also very challenging, especially in tool making, that you can pull the sheet metal like that. At this one point at this cut, we were modeling the rear muscle for almost three months. A difficulty that the technicians had to face with the highest degree of craftsmanship. The side section of the e-tron GT has a draw depth of 350 millimeters. That is unique at Audi. Combining that with the high quality standards we have for all our products and getting it right is where craftsmanship helps us, especially in the attachments, getting the doors to be flush with the side section with the appropriate gap. That we can deliver every product in the same high quality. Another challenge for the team in production was to manage the production of the R8 on the one hand and to integrate the production of the e-tron GT into assembly and these processes on the other. What particularly impressed me now was how the enthusiasm our employees have always had for the R8, transferred so quickly to the e-tron GT. And now they are building a high-performance electric vehicle with the same passion. For us, the e-tron GT is the beginning of a new era, the entry into an electric age. It is not only our first flat-bottom battery electric vehicle, it is also the first F vehicle that we are producing in Germany, the first RS vehicle that is electric, and also the RS vehicle with the highest power output. A fully electric vehicle that is technically sophisticated and also impresses Formula E racer Lucas de Grassi. With the Audi e-tron GT, it's very special because on top of four-wheel driving with independent motors, so you have electronic speed torque vectoring control between the front and the rear axles. You have at the same time four-wheel steering. What does this represent in real world? you are maximizing the tire capacity at every single point. So in slow speed, the car is just much more agile, and in high speed, the car is much more stable. It's the holy grail um, of uh, what you want to achieve with sports dynamics on a, on a sports car. Now I have to complete that this edge, in combination with the huge diffuser, the air curtains on the front, and the aerodynamic wheels help us to bring the drag coefficient down. Aerodynamics are of course extremely important for the driving range of battery electric vehicles. This is why for this vehicle we've made sure that the overall concept of the aerodynamics contributes as much as possible to extending the driving range. Just to give you an example, the sum of the active aerodynamics measures in this vehicle extend its driving range by about 30 kilometers. To sum it up, in my personal opinion, the e-tron GT is the most attractive car Audi ever built.
but before it can hit the road, it is put through its paces. Employees drive the car over the test and adjustment benches for the chassis, headlights, assist and braking systems. Test and vibration tracks with different surfaces have to be mastered. In the sprinkler chamber, it has to pass a leak test and the finish check in two successive light tunnels. Under the eyes and hands of specialists from production and quality assurance, nothing is left to chance. Several battery and crash tests are followed by test drives in extreme heat and relentless cold, on ice, in the desert, in the mountains and off-road. After all, we've been working on it for three years. We've dreamed of this vehicle. We started with the first drawings, with sketches. At some point you have the first small details in your hands. One day there are seat boxes where you can already see a part of the vehicle. Of course, eventually there is the prototype phase. The vehicles are still painted black. There are no trim strips, nothing shines on them yet. It's not that exciting yet. But that final moment when the vehicle is completely finished is incredibly satisfying and really rewards you for all your work. With the team and over the last few years, it's just an insanely great moment. The work of many talented hands can be experienced behind the steering wheel and felt on the road. When you see a car like this, you don't realize it's completely different from anything else that you've, you've driven in your life. But when you sit inside, initially, nothing feels much different. But the big difference changes when you press the start button and you don't hear any noise. And then you go on power and you feel the pure torque of the electric powertrain. This is completely mind-blowing. It really put a smile on my face the first time I went on power. And uh, even if the car has very comfortable space for five uh, people, it's still the most agile and the fastest car I ever driven in the Audi history. So it's really the best all-around vehicle that Audi has ever produced. The driver experiences this extraordinary driving sensation in a customized interior. The e-tron GT interior is defined by two aspects, sportiness and also comfort. Sportiness is achieved by a strong driver focus and makes you feel like you are really sitting in a cockpit. Spaciousness is achieved by taking the volume of the interior and organizing them in horizontal layers, giving you a sense of how wide this interior is. So color and trim is not only about exterior color or pigment, it's not about leather, it's not about textile, it's the combination that we have to put together. So the Etron GT was really a challenge for us. We developed a completely new textile. It was done with this combination of three natural colors, so there is no chemic inside, it's completely recyclable. Sustainability is a central pillar of Audi's corporate strategy. That means we thought in terms of leftovers. We didn't always want to just use new raw materials, but we really wanted to do something with what was already available, and we got to grips with that idea. And see where it's going, sustainability is very important in the course of electromobility. What comes out of it? A fabric that is more reminiscent of natural fibers, that is rather woolly in character, pleasantly soft, and has a great manufacturing character due to the quilling and the 3D effect. A really novel textile has come out of it. But it is a long way from the PET bottle to the finished seat. First, they are processed into chips and then into granulate, which is melted at specialized companies and drawn into wafer-thin threads. These threads are then made into yarn in a weaving mill in a complex process and are used in the production of high-quality fabrics. But it is not only the design, technology and interior that have been worked on in detail. The driving experience should also be audible, and that's not easy to achieve in a car with an e-motor. After all, the sound should be harmonious and match the brand. Engineers Rudolf Halpmeier and Stefan Xell designed this digital sound in the Audi Sound Lab and on computers. The tool used was a program that the team of Audi sound designers programmed themselves to create sounds. 
Mittlerweile ist es ja eine Gesetzgebung. It is now a legal requirement to protect people on the road. All people are very much at risk of being hit by a vehicle they can't hear. I want something that appeals to me, that sounds pleasant. It has to be realistically technical. Technical sounds go better to the subconscious. With harmonic things, you have to be careful, in my opinion. That's how we deal with it. So gehen wir mit der Sache um. The sound made using a converted accelerator pedal and the program in the ECU is then run on the hardware. The result is a synthetic sound that authentically reproduces the work of the drive. But where do the two engineers actually get their inspiration from? First of all, normal combustion vehicles, which also have interesting structures. But of course, also science fiction movies or simply sounds of normal instruments. Another part of the development work took place over numerous kilometers in the car, because only here can the real conditions of everyday life be experienced, the movement, the wind, and rolling noises. When driving slowly, the E sound of the drive sounds discreet, but it had to gain in richness and dynamics as the speed increases. It was a challenge that the two engineers successfully met. Only with the union of a large team was it possible to achieve this result. I think people will have two, two different reactions, uh, to be honest. I think the first is the design. The car looks and feels very aggressive and, 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 and in a very proportional beauty. And the second experience will be when people sit inside and they are not expecting such an agile and a fast car. The car resumes performance, comfort, interior, in total the future, but with a sustainable message, making a better world or a better world than we are currently with this product. Following the Audi prologue in 2014 and the 2018 show car, the Audi e-tron GT has entered series production just three years later. It shows that the new path to an environmentally conscious future can also take to the road in a sporty and elegant manner.